Yuta Pada Kamalang The wise have explained to us that one result is derived from the culture of knowledge. And it is said that a different result is obtained from the culture of Nisa. <coughs> so, yesterday we have explained to some extent what is the culture of Nisa and what is the culture of knowledge. Culture of knowledge means spiritual knowledge. That is real knowledge. And advancement of knowledge for comforts or to protect this material body, that is the culture of Nisan. Because however you may try to protect this body, its natural course will take place. What is that? Janma mitu jarabhyadi. He cannot relieve this body from repeated birth and death and while uh, manifested disease and all this. So people are uh, very much busy for concerning knowledge of this body. Although they are seeing every moment that this body is decaying. The death of the body was registered when it was born. That's a fact. Uh, so you cannot stop the natural course of this body. You must meet the uh, process of the body, the birth, death, old age, and disease. So Bhagavad says, therefore, the shāsa buddhi kunapi dhāsuki. This body is made of three primary elements, uh, mucus, bile, and air. That is the Vedic version and Ayurvedic treatment. Uh, this body is a bag of mucus, uh, bile, and air. Yeah. In old age, the air circulation uh, becomes disturbed. Hmm. Therefore, old man becomes rheumatic, so many bodily ailments. So, Bhagavad says, one who has accepted this combination of bile, mucus, and air yeah, as self, he is an act. Actually, this is the fact. If we accept this combination of bile, mucus, and air as myself, so intelligent person, very great philosopher, very great scientist, does it mean that he is a combination of bile, mucus, and air? No. This is the mistake. Uh, he is different from this bile or mucus or air. His soul, and according to his karma, he is exhibiting, manifesting his talent. So they do not understand this karma, the law of karma. Why you find so many different personalities? 